It's getting chilly out, so you're gonna need some hot pumpkin spice for some holiday home decor. We made these pumpkins with our Glowforge and some MDF. I even made mine reversible. And we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? A welcome back. Do you like to do a builder to make it? We do too. And we have a new video each week. This week, we're making some standing pumpkin home decor shiplap things that stand up on like a table. Yes. So this is going to be in the same concept as the gnome. If you watched our gnome video, we were on the Glowforge user group on Facebook. So if you've never been out there, even if you don't have a Glowforge, I highly recommend going out there. There are so many cool ideas and great things on that page. And we saw this standing pumpkin, kind of like our gnome. That was so cute. It's a set of three. So we decided to craft our own version of those and uh, share that with you today because I think they're really, really cute and I think you guys are gonna love them. So we're gonna do two versions. One's gonna be covered with paper and one's gonna be covered in paint so you can kind of see how they look both sets. And, surprise, I need to look at this. We're gonna use one of these set of pumpkins as our giveaway coming up. I know that if you follow us on social media, you've seen that we've shared that we're gonna be doing a giveaway soon. It's actually, time is here. So we will be doing a giveaway next week for a set of these pumpkins, whichever one we think looks best. Wait, a finished set? Like, I'm gonna make some tonight that somebody's gonna get? Yes. Oh. Wait, who's who's making the ones that I they're just getting? I said whichever ones look the best. <laughs> oh. So you guys will be getting my pumpkins. <laughs> Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. We needed some MDF. That's what we're cutting our pumpkins out of. Some quarter inch MDF. Some paper, because some of us don't like to paint, so we're gonna cover it in paper. Which means we also need some Mod Podge. Some paints. We're using our Country Chic paints, and I have three punk three pumpkins that we're going to paint, and they're gonna be in three different color schemes. So I have three sets of color schemes here, and I'll show you what those colors are. I have the opportunity this time to try some colors that aren't part of the fall set that we've done, <laughs> used for the last couple of videos. So I'm really excited to show you some of these other colors and how pretty they are. That is it. Yes, these are. this is gonna be a really easy project. It's a really easy project for you guys to do as well. Like I said, it's very similar to the gnome concept. I've seen a lot. You guys are so great about oh, yeah. sharing your projects with us. And I've seen so many different takes on the gnome and they're all super cute. So I look forward to seeing your takes on these pumpkins as well. We saw a witch's hat this week. Yes, uh, we did. We did. With a witch's the witch is hat. in. Yeah. Somebody shared that with us. You did it with a green good. hat. It was really cute. Yeah, super cute. Step two, we're gonna make all of our cups. <laughs> <laughs> so based on what Kim showed me, I picked three little pumpkin shapes on the silhouettes, made an SVG, threw some shiplap on them, gave them a little tab so they stand up, and a little base. Now I'm gonna take the MDF over to the Glowforge, and I'm gonna cut it out. So, uh, uh, to the Glowforge. I'm gonna copy some pumpkin silhouettes from the internet, paste them in the Photoshop, pick three that I like, give them each a primary color, then port them into Illustrator, select them, then I'm gonna select Object, Image Trace, Make and Expand. This will create a path. Then I'm gonna select Object, Ungroup, use the Direct Selection tool, and I'm gonna select the white, hit Delete. That's gonna take out the background. Then I'm gonna select them again. I'm gonna remove the fill, give them the outline of red. That's my cut. I'm gonna make a copy and remove the stems, add some shiplap lines, add tabs to the bottom of the pumpkins, draw up some bases, select the shape of the pumpkin and the base, go to Window, Pathfinder, then I'll open my Pathfinder window, click Unite. I'm gonna do that for all of my pumpkins. Export it as a SVG, bring it into Glowforge, select Thick Draft Board, Proof Grade, and I hit Print. Okay, we are back. So I dropped one set, so that's more like a puzzle. Oh, so great. I'll do this set, and I think this set's yours. <laughs> <laughs> so do we want to show them what we have oh. here? 
Maybe I'll, I'll show mine. Show you what you got. So there's my little pumpkin. This is my little pumpkin. All those little slats. Oh, they come apart. That's a shiplap. Yeah, that's a shiplap. <laughs> so we're gonna paint or paper them and then glue them on. Then I got a bigger pumpkin. Hey, pumpkin! And then uh, the biggest pumpkin. A taller, so he's a, tall, he's, medium, small. Yeah, he's actually a pumpkin. It's a mm. pumpkin. And you can be my pump queen, babe. Okay. So am I doing the paper and you're painting? I assume you got all the paint? Um, either way, would you like to paint? No, I would not. <laughs> all right, then it looks like it's going right. to be me. So, step three. And now we fight. <laughs> <laughs> step three. <laughs> Now we paint, or paper. I'm gonna paper, so I'm gonna mod podge my pieces and put some paper on it. Not with that brush or not. Not with a different brush. <laughs> oh man, I got a lot of mod podging to do too, I guess, huh? Yes. Scooby-Doo. You have to think about. So I'll tell you with this paper, I've already picked out his paper. <laughs> we weren't doing the whole surprise paper pack because these are, let's see, each one of them has, well, that one has four. Four slats, five, five slats. Five and five. Five slats. So I have this cute little paper pack. It's a K and Company. Wild Saffron is the name of the pack. And the great thing about using this paper pack is that every all the papers coordinate with one another. And I've kind of set them up for you already. So hopefully you can do, you know. My own take, is that what you're saying? Yes, yeah, so you just, they're two-sided. So you should be able to just, he's good with color, so he'll put them all together nicely. Yeah, I'm pretty good, I'm good to go. But for mine, I have three different paint schemes here and I'm um, probably just gonna have to see how it goes. Work that out as I go, go along. I have one that's a, sand and beach look and it's going to have this tropical cocktail as a accent this one's like shades of uh, light green and this one's shades of purple so um hopefully they all look good to, good together at the end so i'm going to start with this vanilla frosting and give a base coat on this thing you base coat in it base coat that one's a base coat so on top of my vanilla frosting here, I'm gonna make one of my shiplap pieces called um, Wanderess. Wanderess. Oh, so Wanderess. Which, which color do I do? Do I do it like this? Yeah, I like that. I guess I was fake asking. I was fake answering, so. And so for this one, I'm gonna use Elegance. How's it going over there? Okay. All right, these are quick and easy to paint. This one's going to be String of Pearls. This one's like a white with just a tiny hint of green in it. All right, let me do, let me do one, let me get one done. There, <laughs> I think it's a good idea. <laughs> All right, and this one's called Happy Hour. This one's called Mod Podge. <laughs> All right, here's our medium-sized pumpkin, five different slats, and I have five new colors. Okay, so for these, I think I'm gonna use canape, tropical cocktail, driftwood, fancy frock, and lazy linen. I'll start with canape. It's an interesting word. How's it going over there? Eh. You had the easy job. Yeah, I couldn't decide on my, I couldn't decide on the paper. And then I don't know if I enjoy the placement. I'm being too particular. Yeah, well, I was gonna say that's a whole lot of Well, there's a lot of pressure. I'm giving it away, so I'm trying to make it good Oh now. no, maybe I shouldn't have told you. <laughs> now the pressure's on. I wanna, I, I don't know. Just want somebody to be proud of their, their winnings. Oh yeah, I got girts. Boy. 
hell yeah, you got mine. Ooh wee, this one's bright. Tropical cocktail, look at that, cool. I like this brown. This is driftwood, it's a great color. This little pumpkin's getting loud. Fancy frock. I love these names. And last but not least, lazy linen. All right, and for this one, I'm gonna start with dark roast on the bottom and then I'm gonna add these colors on top. And let me see what color scheme I want. All right, mermaid's tail. Oh, I love it. Look at that purple. Hopefully you can see it. All right, next one's gonna be a little cut a rug. How's it going? Yeah. I mean, uh, Use the same papers. Don't feel like you can't. Uh, paper paralysis. Want me to help? I'm happy to help. No, I'm, yeah, I'm coming through, pulling through. Oh, darn it. I just said I was going to cover them all in dark rose first. Look what I did. Right in the purple. I was too excited about the purple. <laughs> well, now I'm going to cover it in dark roast and start again. Bell of the Ball. <laughs> well, you love them. They have such crazy names. All right, last one, last one. All right, I think my first set of pumpkins is dry. Sunday tea. Dry enough. So now I'm just gonna cut them out face down. And I'm just gonna run around the edge. Do you need a new blade? To put one in. Sharp enough? Oh, you're on it. Woo! Bam, pumpkin piece number one. All right, I'm just gonna sand the tops. Get these out of here. <laughs> so you All can 92 see. brushes. I know, I don't really, I don't wanna get rid of them yet. What if I need another coat or something? So this is a sanding pad. It says fine. I don't think there's enough. That's all it said it was fine. And this, It's fine, this use it. This one's 120. I'm gonna use the 120. Well, we don't know if 120 is fine. It might just be good. Which is better, fine or good? Very fine. Just getting ready to say, hopefully you can see this. <laughs> but I guess I'm gonna have to wait till the end. All right, I'll switch out my small pumpkin with my big pumpkin. Okay, so for the medium sized pumpkin, I didn't add any base, I didn't add a base coat. So for this one, instead of sanding it, I'm going to dry brush um, a light color over top. Yet another brush, huh? Yeah, now I'm gonna find another brush. I think I'm going to do 
this string of pearls. I think this will work. All right, hopefully you can see that I've just dry brushed it. I just really dipped it in the paint, dabbed as much of the paint off as I could, and then hit it with the, you know, just swiped over it. And then I'm gonna distress that a little bit. Give it a little bit of a worn look. I'm gonna distress all my little edges, round them off, kind of give it some depth, some feel to it. Yeah. Give it some feeling. Needs a little something something. And for the last set, I'm gonna distress these as well. Remember these have the dark roast behind them, so I expect to see a dark color come through. You'd be surprised if a light color comes through, huh? I would be surprised. <laughs> Now we're gonna glue it down. Assemble it, it's time to assemble. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just gluing all the pieces. We didn't paint all of this part, just the back. We're gonna glue our pieces to the backer. Shiplap pieces. Time to glue it down. Glue it down. I guess I'll start with my little guy. Oh, you got to glue it down. All right, I'm gonna use this contact adhesive. I think I'm gonna use a Gorilla Wood glue. Two minutes, I gotta let it dry for two minutes. My hands are all gluey. I pulled the top right off and the glue got all over my hands. I Gorilla styled the Gorilla glue. All right, everything seems dry now. Mm -hmm. All right, let's put them in the bases. Which is the front, doesn't matter I guess, huh? Sketchers all jacked up right in front? Yeah, right out in front. <laughs> all right, that's what we got so far. Yes. Step five, and now we add the accents. <laughs> Just gonna pull a little something, something here and there. I got a little special accent. Well, mine are cute. I feel like they need a little more. Uh, I think I'm going to add some of this, hold on, this Tiger's Eye Furniture Glaze. Tiger's Eye. It's kind of like putting a distressed look to it, and I think I'm going to try that. Ugh, my bottom's not coming off, hold on. <laughs> Can't get your bottom off. Cause I'm coming back in, putting a stencil on the back of mine. Make it mind jack-o'-lanterns. He said Reversible. He, I saw that on his computer earlier, and I said, what is that? He said, oh, it's a surprise. I didn't know it was a surprise for our video. <laughs> surprise! <laughs> Here we go. I don't want to take the base off. I'm just going to paint a little around the edges and in between the shiplap pieces. All right, now I have a damp cloth. I'm gonna use this to kind of wipe it back off. Just need a little scooch of the Mod Podge. Creates a little barrier so it won't bleed when I paint it. I think I'm gonna add a little raffia bow right to the top of this thing. Yeah, oh, yeah. that's cute. That's definitely cute. Um, but I need the hot glue gun.
Can you see all my Halloween peoples? My little jack-o'-lanterns. All right. Now it's November 1st. Whoosh. <laughs> Doesn't have to be that fast. It does. Okay. Some hot pumpkin spice right here. You guys ready for the giveaway that starts today? Yes, we'll be including a set of these pumpkins in our new fall giveaway. All the details will be on our Instagram page. Look for the giveaway post. And we're gonna include a set of pumpkins. I'm not sure which ones yet. Which Maybe ones? you guys can give me your opinion, yeah, your we'll vote. Let you vote. And then we're gonna include some other fall projects. We're gonna include a one of a kind, one you can't find. Anywhere. Anywhere. And then we're gonna add a couple of our kits in there too. So it's a big fall giveaway. It's a, it's a big fall bundle of fallness of bum, 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 You're pumpkins. ruining it. I did ruin it, yes. <laughs> All right, we're about out of time. Look what time it is. So we gotta go. So we'll see you next week where we'll do it, build it, and make it again. I'm gonna miss you guys. It's a whole <laughs> week away. I'm gonna balance my pumpkin until then. Oh, I think I could get it to go to the other side. I don't wanna ruin it since it's being a giveaway. Whoa! Almost yeah. got away from me. Might not be Garrett's set. <laughs>